songs and good playing. And uh, appreciate your presence here this morning. A number of our people are absent from us this morning. Brother Sheely uh, is preaching at Grant this morning. Grant doesn't have a pastor, and so he's going over there to preach for them. Uh, Miss Elaine has gone to Alabama to visit family, and so uh, the others I'm not sure about, but we appreciate you all being your visitors. We're glad to have you. We welcome you into our service here on this morning. Uh, announcements, Brother Spencer Anderson will preach here next Sunday night. Brother Spencer's a young fellow, and he is studying and working very hard, I think, with our prayers and support that he's going to make a good minister, and uh, we, we need uh, some of those. On uh, Wednesday night, we will have choir practice and Bible study. <clears throat> Uh, Brother Chuck says that everybody's wanting to change uh, till 6.30. Uh, I told him we had a, a motion on the books to start at 7 o'clock. But, uh, I mean, if you would rather start at 6.30. Well... Uh, the working people, can can you all be here for 6.30? I'm, I'm not sure I can make it. Six. If we make the choir practice to the end, then I can do it. Okay. All right. All right. If that's agreeable with everybody, we'll start at 6.30 and have Bible study first and then uh, choir practice next. Brother Seth. We'll be teaching our uh, Bible lesson on this Wednesday night, and we hope you all uh, can uh, can all come and be here for that. We've been having pretty good crowds, and we appreciate that uh, for Wednesday night. Uh, birthdays, Miss, uh, Mr. Elisha High was 100 years old this week, and... Uh, uh, they said that he got on his bulldozer and drove it around a little bit. That's pretty good for a hundred years old. Congratulations to him. Uh, Miss Carol West had a birthday. Miss Anthony Brooks is having a birthday. Mr. Oliver Davison is having a birthday. Miss Faith. Olivia. Oh, Miss Olivia Davison. Miss Faye Bridgewater, Mr. Sammy Bridgewater, and Mr. Robbie Richardson. Are there any other birthdays? Yeah. Uh, Matthew Bush is having one. Neil Dusty is having one. And Mark Gray are having one. They are there now. All right. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Susan. Uh, we hope all of these will have a happy birthday and have many, many more of them in the future. Uh, any anniversaries? No anniversaries. Death, Miss Odie Mae Green, uh, Miss uh, Annette Bass, Mr. Bob Johnson, and I, I don't know the bulletin girl. Sarah. Sarah Bulletin, the last name, Clark. Clark. All right, all right. Uh, we offer our sympathy and prayers for all of these. Uh, prayer requests for Miss Lois Ham Hamlet, Miss Juanita Taylor, Miss Estelene Sloan, Mr. Mark Andrews. Mark has been in the hospital again this week, uh, but he's back home. Mr. L.B. McDowell, and Mr. L.B. is here this morning. It's the first time he's been able to. Thank you. Well, we're glad to have you, LB. We're glad you're able to be here. Mr. Bill and Miss Aline Oline Harwell, Mr. Jamin Malone, Miss Nancy Kipsel's niece, and uh, Brother Jamie S. Prayer requests for the victims of the earthquake in California 
and Miss Slough uh, Haynes. Let me also say that uh, uh, Ella Kate uh, invited her little school friend uh, this morning to church, and she and her family are here. Uh, we're glad to have uh, Paul Williams and his wife and children uh, with us uh, for our service on this morning. We're also glad to have all the rest of you in our services this morning. Yeah, I announced it. Oh, did you? Okay, Mr. Troy Ponder's father has been sick and had surgery. How's he doing? He's doing real well. Good. He came to surgery real well and he's having the rehabilitation of the rehab and he's doing well. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Right. Thank you, Mr. 